Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to come on and talk about hair care. And the reason I kind of wanted to revisit this, because I've done other videos on my channel, is because I'm still having family members and friends ask about my hair care and how my hair thrives and they're still having issues with theirs. I've also had some people um, that I don't know come up and ask me questions about my hair and I, I always feel like I'm trying to like give them like years of stuff that I've learned in like two minutes. We all kind of know that you can't learn how to take care of your hair in two minutes. So I want to come on and talk about how to take your hair care routine to the next level. My story isn't um, a really fast one. You know, I didn't learn how to take care of my hair overnight. I mean, a lot of times I was learning things from people who either did or didn't know what they were talking about. A lot of the things that I learned, I had to learn through trial and error. So part of my reason for making the channel was to help people so they wouldn't have to go so much through the error part. Just try to give people basic knowledge of what to do and not to do as far as your hair care regimen. I think a lot of people think that if they do my routine, then their hair will look like mine. And that's, that's not how it works. You know, it's not the products that, I mean, the products help. You know, let's not get that misconstrued. The products help with helping my hair be its best. But because you use the products that I use, doesn't mean that your hair is gonna have the curl pattern that, that I have. And I mean, there's just so many beautiful hair um, patterns, but you know, I get it. We always want what we don't have. I'm gonna go over the tips that help me learn my hair and what it needs. One of the things that I didn't do for years was learn my hair porosity. And believe me when I tell you, when I, once I learned my hair porosity and I knew what products to use that was good for my hair porosity, that was just such a big game changer. Can't express that enough. I now use products that work with my hair porosity. Um, before I was using, I don't know what I mean, <laughs> I had a whole closet full of stuff. I mean, I was always trying whatever somebody was reviewing. And you know what? The majority of that stuff didn't work. And when I found what works, I just stopped buying all the extra products, you know, because it wasn't necessary. I will buy different types of deep conditioners but it's always going to be a deep conditioner that I feel that my hair needs. Take the time to learn your hair and to create a routine, you know, specifically for you. I mean, there's nothing better than that. Because when you're using these routines that other people are using, they're created for them, you know, and each of us is different. Even if our hair looks the same, there are products that, that may not work for, for your hair. If your hair looks like a certain person's, it doesn't mean that the products that they're using is gonna work on your hair. You need to take the time to learn your hair and create a routine for you. My family member that I'm talking about, you know, she's getting really frustrated with her hair because she used to wear like really, you know, um, almost like a buzz cut. And it works for her because she can wear it. But she was starting to get a little frustrated. Take your time. You know, there's no rush. I know it's frustrating or whatever, but take your time and learn your hair. I mean, that's that's the best advice that I can give anybody. Don't rush off and get it all cut off or, you know, rush back out and get braids in it before you know what your hair is, what it needs and what it likes and how to take care of it. I know people gotta go to work, you know, whatever, but that is the, the magic of caps and hats and scarves. I mean, you can put a look together, throw on a little makeup, put on earrings, and look just as good as anybody who's done their hair. Learning your routine, it doesn't have to be an, an extensive routine. It could be really short. I mean, if your hair just likes a leave-in and some cream, then that's what your hair likes, and that's your routine. 
and just keep it moving. It doesn't have to be like this extensive routine where you know you need this product, you need a leave-in, you need a cream, you need an oil, you need another cream, you need you know gel. If that's not what your hair likes, and that's not and that type of routine isn't how your hair thrives, then that's not what you need. You know, a lot of times when we first, when people first did like big chops, or even if they didn't do big chops, they were using routines that worked in the past, and then they got away from it. There's nothing wrong with revisiting and going back and using a routine that worked in the past, and that's exactly what I did because I kind of got away from the routine that I discovered that worked for me, and I didn't do it. So I was like, why is my hair so dry all the time? Well, it was dry all the time because I stopped using the routine that my hair liked. And once I went back to that routine, I don't have that problem with, you know, extensive dryness and, you know, my hair, I mean, <laughs> there were points when I was afraid that my hair was just going to break off because it was just that dry. But it was just, I had cut out steps in my routine that my hair liked. So the next thing that I want to talk about is um, investing in the products that your hair type needs. So it doesn't have to be expensive, it just has to be the best product for you. So that's what I mean when I say invest. If your hair likes a $5 leave-in, then use that $5 leave-in. It doesn't have to be a $30 leave-in or a $15 leave-in. Whatever leave-in works for you, then that's what you should be using. Next point is, be consistent with deep conditioning. I know that a lot of us are busy. We are playing different roles in our lives. We need to take that time and deep condition our hair. It doesn't have to be for an hour. You know, I think most deep conditioners say, leave it on for 15 minutes. Put a, a shower cap on it, and then while I'm showering and shaving and doing whatever, then I go ahead and do it. And then by that time, my 15 minutes is up. So yeah, it doesn't have to be a long, overnight, two day, deep condition and we probably shouldn't be doing a two day deep condition anyway that's not good so the next thing i want to talk about is layering products i know some people kind of shy away from the layering products because they say that causes a lot of buildup and i mean it may in fact cause buildup but that's what shampooing and clarifying is for if your hair thrives on the layering then continue to keep layering product when i first began my my journey i layered products I was layering products, but just not the right products for me. So that was kind of, you know, a little, I don't know, it was discouraging. And the products were great. I mean, they smelled great. You know, it just wasn't the right product for me. Layering products definitely give me the best results when I'm styling my hair. I can't express that enough. If I don't layer the products, then you see the difference in my hair, or I see the difference in my hair. So it's, it's necessary for me to layer. Another thing that I do that a lot of people don't do still is use scars, bonnets, and satin pillowcases. The best way for me to preserve moisture and retain my style is to use my scar bonnet and satin pillowcase. I mean, it's just as simple. I have never used a cotton pillowcase since I did my big chop. It's always, I've always used a satin pillowcase or my bonnet and scarf because if I don't, my hair, <laughs> my hair will look like the bush. So I really need to make sure that I'm trying to retain the moisture the best way that I can. It doesn't have to be like a really expensive um, bonnet or a scarf or whatever, but you know, I just feel like it's necessary. I also use a satin scrunchie. So I do a pineapple, then I wrap the scarf around my hair and then I put my bonnet on. I know it seems like overkill, but I sleep kind of, I don't want to say wow, but I move in my sleep sometimes. Uh, well, most of the time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my scarf would slip off, my bonnet would slip off, and at least if that happens, then I still have the satin pillowcase. On top of, satin pillowcases are really good for your skin in case you didn't know that. That's a little fun fact. I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but definitely trim your hair when needed. Um, if you don't trim your hair, it can cause split ends, it can go right up the shaft. 
and you also have you ever noticed that when you get a fresh trim how bouncy and your hair just looks better and feels better once you trim so I'm not saying take off three or four inches of course unless it really needs it and then if you don't want to do that all at once then do it in phases but I am saying you know at least try to take off the ends you can see you know you can pull your hair and you can see where it starts to get thin and then at that point you know just clip it off just enough to try to maintain if you don't want to go into a professional stylist the other thing is you don't have to always straighten your hair to get a trim um, there are stylists that will cut it curly so if you do wear your hair straight a lot then I would just suggest to go ahead and blow it out and go in and you know get a regular trim as opposed to getting a curly cut next thing is incorporate fruits and vegetables in your diet it's important to take care of your body because what you put on the inside it can show on the outside you also need to stay hydrated so it's important to you know incorporate a good healthy diet and make sure that you're also hydrated the last thing that I want to say is be patient with the process. You will see the results. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to implement a routine and then the next day, you know, your hair is where it wants to be. It takes time and it takes consistency. You're um, being consistent and following all these tips, then you're going to see results. It's just not going to happen overnight. So just, you know, breathe and take it all in and enjoy enjoy the, the journey because there's something to learn in every step of the journey and then you can kind of like pass it on to people who might be going through the exact same thing and there's nothing better than learning from somebody who's gone through the same thing that you've gone through and then you can see that you know they've been successful in their journey so subscribe to see more beauty hair and lifestyle content every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment below any 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 suggestions or tips that you have for people who are having problems with their natural hair stay healthy and happy and remember to keep pursuing your goals plans and dreams you got this bye guys